there. We got Fiona. We got the horses. Maybe. Look at how good looking look this boy is. It went right in front of us. Put your hips forward and bring your shoulders back. That's the only one I could find. Close your leg at the same time, Gabby. So whenever you half halt, you have to close your leg so that he pops up in front of you. You want his withers up in front of your belly button. Imagine they're going to shoot right up in front of you and hit you in the chin. <laughs> I wish mine would do that. I know it is. Don't go quite so deep into that corner if you're going to hit the tree. Yeah. Just cut it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like... Keep your hands steady. I Thumbs wanted up. to go over and rip that tree off. I should go do it. Whenever you put contact onto your bit, I want to see equal contact from both hands because I'm wondering if that mouth chewing is because you always half halt with one or the other. So we're going to just play. He's not going to be perfect right away. Don't get me wrong. See, he's chewing right but now. As you sit, as you half halt, make sure they're together, not one then the other. Like we're not moving the bit back and forth in his mouth. Yes, you may walk. <laughs> <laughs> Poor okay? selfie. So when you send him up into that half halt, I want you to literally send him forward with your legs and then catch the energy with your hands. So it's almost like you're recycling the energy every single time. So you add leg, so you turn the motor on, we send the energy up here, we connect the energy, we recycle it through our tail back to our legs and send him back up again. So ask him to walk again. When you ask for your transition, make sure you've already gathered your reins. Don't ask for it while you're gathering your reins. Hold your reins steady. Send the energy from your hip to your heel to his head. Up into trot, I'm use the motor. I'm already lost. There. Still playing with the bit. Every step, we're going to recycle that energy. Let's do every other. We're not going to bug him too much. We're going to recycle the energy. So we close the heel, catch the energy, set it back down into our seat, send it forward again. Yes. Make sure that his head is straight. If his head is not straight, then we don't have equal pressure on the reins. More leg. Yes, more leg. You can send him up in front of you. Don't let go of the rein. More leg. When you feel him start to lift, then you can give him a little bit of a loose rein. Essentially, in the show room, we want a little bit of a loop in our rein. We want it to be a little droopy. That's it. Leg. Send the withers up. You gotta pop those withers up in front of your belt buckle. Yes! Put his head on straight, equal pressure to both reins. Shoulders and elbows, put your chin up. Sucks when there's cars driving by, she can't hear me. What? Sucks when there's cars driving by, can't, she can't hear me. I know. That's better. Stack your plates and bring your shoulders back. Yes. Now remember, as you're recycling, you still have to let your elbows work. Yes, thank you. Much nicer. Now he's elevated in the front end and light on his feet. Little leg. When he gets heavy in your hands, add more leg. That's okay. I have a really nice tripod that's designed for something like that, and I'm going to put it, it's tiny, I'm going to put it in the middle of the arena. Oh, perfect. And I think it'll work really good. I'm still trying it out. It'll be good for the show, though. I know. There, look at it. Much straighter. It's a little tip there at the end, but that's okay. I think he's anticipating the corner, too. He's anticipating her turning that inside rein to bend him. Because you come up that rail really straight. Good. Now keep his ears directly in front of your hips. That's a good correction. Correct it again. There. Better. When you go through the corners, your outside rein and leg have to push him through the corner. Not your inside. We never pull a horse. We always push a horse. We know how to leg yield. Leg yielding is pushing. Same with our reins. Push the horse where you want him to go. Yes. Push him up. 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 Leg. More leg. 
So when you do there, that, are you there, are you there. squeezing and pulling up? So she's adding leg and she's just holding him. So okay. as yeah, he yeah, adds yeah. in, he gets, see how he hangs on her hands a yeah, little bit? Yeah. So the more leg you add, the lighter he gets in the bit. Okay. If you just pull on the reins, you halt the front end. Yeah. You don't want to shut the front end okay, down. I get it. You want to drive the motor into the front end. You want to push yeah. the, it's like driving a boat. Yeah. When you turn the motor up, the front end of the boat lifts, right? There, there. Every time he gets heavy on you, more leg. I get that though because I've actually put my legs on a horse before like that and held the horse with my legs like that. Yes. But not very many because most of the horses I ride are sensitive. Oh yeah, and they want to go. Yeah. But I did it to Penny and she was good. Excellent. Now let's get him off the rail and do some more work. So don't pull him off the rail. Push 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 him off the rail. Every corner is a push, 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 push. Yes. I feel like having two Stack your plates. different elbows, elbows. coaches really helps us to get all the things that we need. There. Notice him lift when you dropped your elbow? Did you feel that at all? Yeah. <laughs> Did you feel him pop a little bit when you gave your elbow? No. no. Okay. That's all right. That's, but that's how I need to know. I need to know if you can or can't feel something. So that's why I asked. Good. Lift your chin a little bit. And leg, 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 there, there, there. You see him get light and fluffy. When I say things like yes, 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 or there, 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 I want you to really think about the feeling you're getting from him. So now he's a little down. So close your leg and lift him up, up, up with your leg. Yes. Okay. Better. Feel it. Feel yeah. takes a lot longer than seeing it. She yeah. can probably see it if she's watching a video or yeah. seeing it from somebody yeah. else. Yeah, she needs to get the feel of it. But it, it's learning that feel. Oh, I feel dumb. I can't feel anything like that. I can see better Some than people I can struggle feel. to feel. Yeah. Striding is really hard, she says. Keep his head her. straight. Good. Go to sit trot. So yep. do, you, do you know why I think she got that, that bend thing? Because she always has now crossed. Now lift your hand and close your leg. She always there. crossed. There! Did you feel him lift that time? Did you feel him lift that time? No. Okay. No she, feel. she crosses the rain over. She's always crossed the rain over. They both do that. And she that's now. But she, I see her. She's got their one rain on his neck. And it, it makes... <laughs> Here. That's all I can do to keep holding on. So, ooh. so what does Lift the your hand? Soften your elbow, 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 elbow. There, there, there. Leg, more leg. Yes. Now go rise. That feeling is the one you want. <laughs> is it bumpier or less yeah. bumpy? It launches her. So if you're launching, you're doing good. Riding that is hard. Yeah. Straighten his head. Drop the right rein a little bit. Yeah. Keep the contact equal. Good. All right. Let's breathe down through a nice quiet walk. Excellent. All right. Gabby's going to canter. Oops. So before you ever ask for the canter, you make sure that your horse is up in front of your, in your belly button. His withers are up. He is equally putting weight in both your hands. If he is not equally in both your hands, keep walking. Keep pushing him forward. Ask for that uphill walk without bursting into any gate. Keep him straight. He shakes his head, take your outside heel and give him a little bump. Stay smart now. Also, it comes with a remote for your friend. So if she's riding, she can reset it. Yes. Lift your chin. That's looking better. Keep his head straight. Shoulders back, chin up. Engage your core and ask him to canter up in front of you. Stay seated. Ah, see how nice that was first time you asked. Good job. Lift your hands up. So, same thing. That nice up into our canter. Stay seated. I want you to rebalance, recycle that energy. 
Lift your hand in front of your belly button. Push it out in front of you. And the pulling back. Work the elbow. Give away your right rein a little bit, please. Good. Recycle, 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 recycle. Add legs. Send them up in front of you. Work the elbow. You want his front end to work. Never pull on it. When you pull on his mouth, you shut the front end down. It's like a reverse mullet. You want the party in the front and the business in the back. She doesn't maybe know what mullet is. His butt is working. It's the business end. He can have all the party and time up front he wants. Let the front end dance. Good. We connect with the front end. We find equal pressure. And then we add leg to get him off our hands. Shorten your rein a little bit. You don't need to rise to shorten your rein. There. Circle. Outside rein, outside leg. Outside rein, outside leg. Give away your inside a little bit. Yep. Close your fingers. Thumbs up. You feel your reins going loose, tight, loose, tight? That means we're losing the contact and we need to pick up more contact and then work our elbows to keep it. Yeah, that's the other thing. Better. Shorten the rein a little bit. Put your hands out in front of you and use your elbows to keep that contact. Yes, 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 yes. Much better. Much better, much better. Lift your hand. Bring your chin back. Yep, engage your belly. Lift up that horse with your belly muscles. Yeah, did you feel that? Wow. <laughs> I'm more focusing on the pain in my side right now. She's more focusing on the pain in her side right now. Okay, I want you to go to your light seat because I want to work on it from schooling day. So, I actually want you to sit again and walk. Nice transition, come back and see me. All right, Fiona, just doing that little, oh. like the little it thing was that you're fast. telling me to do. It kind of looks like one of those weird horse girls cantering. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so Fiona just gave Gabby the lesson on twerking in the uh, light seat. So how her bum is supposed to move with the horse. So we don't do a posting canner. So we don't do a posting canner. She's going to do, she's going to show us. Gabby's going to twerk it, in the I air. I noticed it the most at schooling. Yeah. Because he had so much energy, you were really pumping her. So we're going to tone it down. Make sure he's in front of you before you ask for the canner. He can round up before he goes into it without you asking him to round up. You just have to find the contact and push him into his bit. You're pushing him in. Push the energy from the hind end up over his back to his bit. That's lovely. Look at how nice those transitions are when you plan them. Start in full seat. Feel the canter from there first. Two sides. It's left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. You can feel his feet hit the ground. I don't care if you want to look right now. You go right ahead. I, I can't feel it. It just feels like they're going at the same time. Take your feet out. Lose your stirrups. Soften your back and look up. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Keep his head straight. You want to feel equal pressure in your reins. You can keep his head straight without looking. Does he feel equal in both your reins? No. No, so make him equal in both reins. Oh gosh. Might pick up Gabby here in a second. Can you feel your right hip wanting to go forward? Look up, look. <laughs> so he'd take her to the jump when her eyes were closed. I you. Hopefully you don't go over the Get on. Fiona, so calmly. Look up. Open your eyes. 
<laughs> felt like we were turning. Whoo! Okay, that was that was that was something. So why do you think you took her to the jump? You sport? Nice, beautiful balance scanner. Ooh, yeah. Let's do it, mom. Sorry. My apologies. Probably all this work is hard for them too. Oh, it is. This requires him to use more ab and core muscles than he likes yeah. it. He's like, let's go back to easy. Jump, Thank jump, you, jump. jump. <laughs> What'd she say? It's kind of fun though, I suppose. Straight. Kind of fun. I want to see him straight. His nose is like this. Give away the right. Lift up the left. Yes. More left leg. Left leg, left leg, left leg, left leg. Are her eyes still closed? No. Oh. Okay. Light seat. Keep your booty in the air. Just and like you don't care. And when it wants to come down, don't let it. Let your body have that little bit of a circle. Look at me. Left, right, left, right. I, I can't do it. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Imagine you're running on your own feet. You can't hop like a bunny. You're running. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. To push shake it, your booty. Push in one, then the other. It's not easy. Is she doing it? No, we're getting there. She's still got her little bouncy thing going on. Yeah, that bouncy thing drives me bonkers. Yeah, me too. I don't know what to do. Shake your, your bum! What? Stay in the air and do little circles with your bum. Yeah! <laughs> just not your body, just your bum. Can you feel yourself standing up and down? Okay, we want to eliminate that, so when you want to come down, instead of going down, allow yourself to ride in a circle with your bum. Oh, that's a good way to describe it. Even I understood that. A little bit better. Stop driving by, people. Think about your back and your belly so that you can twerk your booty better. <laughs> Engage your core muscles. Kind of stick your booty out behind you a little bit. Ooh, like saw... you're sticking it a little bit like a duck tail, and then you can give it a little wiggle. I see her trying, actually. Yeah, she is trying. I don't have a tail. <laughs> I got a duck. That looks a little better. So, now we've kind of forgotten about him. He's a little bit flat. That's okay. So I want you to keep your body working like it is. This looks much better. Much better. You can kind of feel the saddle paddling back and forth between your thighs. It should touch, yes. Touch one and then the other. That's what you want. That's better, that's better. That's a little bit better. See, you have to say things like a million times before different you Different ways. Different ways till Less they get it. Less up and down, more sideways. Hey. I want you to find both sides of his rein, his bit, while your booty is still working. Good, and then recycle the energy in the air so you still add leg. You still engage your booty muscles. You still engage your core. Yes, lift him up even though you're in light seat. Where am I yelling with my kid to sleep? Keep his head straight, give away the right. There's my rain. My kids Good. have literally died. Good. Close your reins, add your legs, lift up his withers. You want him to push you out of that saddle. Up. More legs. Give him a little tap behind your heel so you can engage him. There. It just reminds him to listen to your leg. I know. No, when he ignores your leg, give him a little tap. Say hello. Oh, great. Now half hop, both reins at the same time. Connect the front end to the back end. Right now he's got two ends doing separate things. Put his head on straight. I thought like every part of my body doing a different thing. <laughs> every part of your body has to do a different thing. It's not perfect, but we're working it. There's less bounce up and down. Yeah. Good, full seat. 
Close your outside rain, give it while you're inside. Thank you. Straighten his head up. Yes, leg. Outside leg. Outside leg. There, lift him up. Up, up. There, much better. Now keep that uphill canter and go into light seat. Half hold, don't give your reins away. Up, up, yes. All right, you may walk. Nice smooth transition. Keep your legs on, keep your reins on. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way